Okay, guys, Stacy Tovar, woo, woo! In the house, Here. in the kitchen. Um, we've got bacon, apple cider vinegar, and cabbage on the board. Pretty simple. So stick around, we're coming right back with Tovar Slaw. All right, so here we are. Stacey, tell me what, what's going on here. This is your recipe? This or? is a recipe for my dad. Okay. Um, we ate this a lot growing up. Um, super simple recipe. Didn't know back then how healthy it actually is. Nice. Um, and yeah, cabbage, apple cider vinegar, bacon, a little salt and pepper. Done. Done. Okay. And what, does this play into like your meal prep? Do you make this often? I or? do, especially okay. more so in the summertime. Um, and actually with the apple cider vinegar, it gets better the longer that it sits longer around. It sits, so yeah, 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 if you can afford to make this the night before, if you have a party or a, a lake party or something you're yeah. going to, ah, oh, it's money. Cool, so we'll, well let's get after it. I know we have the pan preheated. Do you want to hit that burner? No, so you're good. So now okay, we're going so and then just lay the bacon in there. All right. Beautiful. Oh, oh. It's not laid very well. It doesn't have to be perfect, guys, okay? It doesn't. We're going to chop it up anyways, aren't we? Right, yeah. yes. And then speaking of chopping, I'm going to show you the chiffonade cut. Uh, I cut the cabbage in half, and then I'll just wedge out the core, this little piece. And you can actually yeah, eat that, too. Yeah, I know. Too. It's Nothing so good. That. So yeah. I'll usually just get that bottom piece, and then I can kind of munch on For it while sure. I'm From there, what I'll do is cut it in half, and then look, take out about that much. You ever do that move? Why? I'll show you in a second. Oh, okay. No, never then done that. Then you can that. put these together and do that. And then you just take your knife. It just kind of flattens it out if you have that center piece. Right. It kind of rocks back and forth. A little more risk involved, right? You yeah. Might, like, cut your finger I like off. that. And then here you get a good uniform cut. And then you can just hack it in the middle. Pop it down and then lay it down. How am I doing? Excellent. You're no, doing I'm great not doing over very good. Yeah. No, you're doing great. Okay. In the bowl, how about oil? Do you think this needs oil? Ooh. I have never tried it with oh. um, oil, but I'm sure olive oil would be delicious. It would today. help, but it's like we don't need to use that fat if we don't have to. True. Right? Like, we got a lot of fat from the bacon. And actually, Dad used to pour. This is terrible. He did. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. He's one that like keeps the lard, and then he'll recook with it. And you don't even want to try. Take a bite of that. Yeah, up. it's good stuff. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. Is it like pineapple, where this has the most nutrition? Maybe. I would say if like all the nutrition has to go through that thing to get out here, how could it not? Yeah. You we want to try this one. Sure. Show me your skills. Um, okay, so you went like this first. We'll switch and I'll work okay. the bacon. We had cabbage in the garden. Oh, growing, growing up, up on the farm, yeah. Tell me about that. The family garden? Most of your Huge. veggies came from that? Oh, everything. Like how everything. big? Um, well. Like a half acre, a quarter acre, probably, you know? Probably a quarter. quarter yeah, acre. we had, uh, gosh, two batches of sweet corn that we went through every summer, so that was on a good chunk of land. So we had peppers, cucumbers, watermelon, cantaloupe, radishes, lettuce. I mean, you name it, we did had you ever it. Do squash. Broccoli? We never did broccoli. Carrots. Broccoli's a tough one. It was. I had. A, I had an. Ex, a, a, for one summer, I had a garden that we shared with a family. It was a quarter of an acre, and we had maybe an eighth of that. And even that much garden, it was like, it, I oh. couldn't even, I couldn't keep up yeah. with it. I was like, I'm not a gardener. Anyhow, bacon's coming so, along, <laughs> curled up a little bit. Now, what do we want to do here? Should we get some vinegar in there? Dad always did. We start. Um, and then he threw in a little bit of salt and pepper too, but okay. you can always Let's do, do that. that at the Show end. Me your, we have this much. Do you think that's enough vinegar? He said about one cup okay. per head. So is that about one cup? Yeah, I think so. Perfect. Mm -hmm. And yeah, you just pour it over. Oh yeah. And then maybe some salt and pepper. Should we do that? The salt will start to Perfect. help break down the cabbage. You know, that'll draw out the moisture. Okay. Similar to what's gonna happen once the vinegar's in there. Pepper? Pepper. Um, and now it's gonna be kind of crunchy, but it, but it softens up it does. with time. The longer it sits, for sure. It's like sauerkraut or kimchi. Have you ever had kimchi? Um, I've ever had That's like a Korean cabbage condiment where they, they put the cabbage 
in like a glass jar with some chili and some other things, and then they bury it underground. What? For like six months. And then they pull it up and it kind of ferments, but it's super soft, really spicy. Maybe we should call this like Omaha kimchi. Let's do it. Uh, I'll just put the bacon right on the... Let's do it. Or what if we did this? Watch this move where I'll put, or kind of let it drip. Definitely. Gosh, really she nice reminds me of home. Oh, do you want to right. put some of this in Let's there? Let's do it. How much? Um, Dad always just teaches a few tablespoons, so he didn't really measure. That one's for Lauren. There, there we go. There you go. <laughs> and then I'm gonna cut this. Does that yep. work? Yep. Chop it up. How do you want it? Do you want a chiffonade of bacon? Yeah. Why not? Show uh -huh. me how it's done. Perfect. How about like this. Yeah. Does this work? That works. That's yeah. exactly how we did it. I'm thinking Omaha kimchi is going to catch Le on. Yeah, yeah, that's OK. And then you toss it around. Toss it around, OK. Yeah. Let me get oh this. Oh my god, this smells so good. And then what do you do? You portion this out into Tupperware, two cups at two a time? Two cups at or? a time, generally. Mm. Isn't it so good? Huh? You ready love for it. this? Should we take a shot from Lauren? Lift for Lauren. Pop for my Lauren. dad, oh my god. Mm. Mm. So good. Right? Bacon. Imagine that sitting like just for another mm. hour. Oh my god. For you, Dad. Vinegar. Love you. Yeah. Okay, and then, you know, not super fancy, but we're talking about what would we plate this with? There's pork involved. There's already bacon in there, so maybe like pork ribs or pulled pork, something like pulled that. Pork would be great. But then how would we gussy it up? I'm just gonna take a little drizzle of bacon fat, right? A little bonus. Dad would do it. the same. Oh. Uh huh. Living the dream. Love it. So, so simple, you guys. I mean, if we had five ingredients and that included salt and pepper. Mm -hmm. You don't see that yeah. too often. All right, so right here, not super fancy, but you can you can serve this with some more pork, right? Pulled pork or barbecued pork, something like that, maybe some ribs. Yum. How much did we get? We got... This is two cup serving, so we got six two cups, probably seven. Seven, seven. plus seven. a bonus cup. Yeah, one head of cabbage, one package bacon. One cup of vinegar. One cup That's of vinegar. That's it. All right, Stace, thanks for sharing the family recipe. It's good stuff. Omaha kimchi is going to be a huge hit, I have a feeling. So, you guys get out there, give it a try, keep it clean, keep it simple, and keep it paleo. paleo.